Hey guys and welcome back to the last episode in my storage and organisation series. Today we are going to be tackling the under the stairs cupboard. This is always quite an awkward cupboard to tidy up and sort and figure out storage. It was relatively tidy until I put all the Christmas decorations back. For some reason before they fitted but now they don't so i'm just going to take everything out of here and give it a good tidy clean and organize Okay, now that everything is out, I thought I'd just show you the space in general. As I mentioned, it is a really awkward space and also this under the stairs cupboard has a very low ceiling, so you do have to crouch down to get around the side. So first of all, you have this bit here and then there's just this bit round the side and that is where the light is. First of all, I'm gonna give this a quick hoover and then wipe down all of the skirting. I'm just going to use these whites because I want to use them up so I'm going to use them along the skirting and then just along the corner bits of the floor. In these boxes are all my seasonal decor, so three out of the four boxes are Christmas and then that one there is autumn and Halloween decor. Now I do have quite a lot of pillows and throws and that was the thing I was finding difficult to put back in that cupboard under the stairs. We don't actually have an attic so everything has to fit under there. So I did condense all my Christmas stuff down to three boxes, but I was still having a bit of trouble with the cushions and throws because they are so bulky and big, they don't currently go in any of these boxes and these are full to the brim. But I managed to just move a bit of stuff around. Now it's time to put them back in the cupboard. I do find it helpful to have them labelled because then it's easy to access them. Before I put the pillows back, I just wanted to, well I had a thought, as well about the pillows. Now I purchased these vacuum pack bags. They came in all different sizes from Amazon last year. But one thing I discovered about vacuum pack bags is although they condense down if you have the feather pillows, it doesn't actually stay shrunken down like that one there. That one doesn't have anything that's feather in it. But this pillow here does. So vacuum packs don't work well with feather pillows and most of my cushions I do like to have the feather insert in them just because I think they hold the shape better of the cushion so that's one thing about the vacuum pack and one other thing about the cushions is because I do like the feather inserts on the cushions I thought why don't I just buy the cushion covers instead and just fill them with the feather pillow inserts that I already have. So I emptied a couple here, so I'm just gonna put them in one of those boxes, and then this is all I've got left. In this bin liner is all of my garlands, so I'm just gonna flatten them down a bit so I can condense them into that space. In the front part of the cupboard, these two wooden shoe storage units 
do stack on top of each other. I did have them in the old house stacked on top and I used to keep sheets and towels and things like that. But for in here, they fit better in this corner. So one at the back and then one here. On the bottom, I'm just storing all of Ben's trainers, just because there's not enough room upstairs in his wardrobe to store all of them, and he does have quite a lot. But these are the ones he tends to pick out the most on a weekly basis. I already had these wire baskets. They've got these copper handles. These are from Home Base. They come in two different sizes, this smaller one and then this larger size. I did want to get some of these baskets that are also from Home Base. I quite like the size of these because they fit perfectly on the wooden shelves. However, they don't seem to do just this size on its own now. They come in a three pack with three different sizes, so I may have to find something else. I do like the wire baskets, but sometimes if you're storing smaller stuff, it can just poke through. Sally was very spoiled at Christmas and received a lot of treats. So I'm just gonna condense them down into this smaller home base basket because not all of these fit in his drawer in the kitchen. On this section here, I got Ben to put up a couple of hooks. These are from Ikea and on here we have some reusable shopping bags that are also from Ikea. Our torches for at night if we walk Sully at night. And this is Sully's coat and on the back here is just a scrubber for our wellies. Here I keep our pegs and then I've got some binoculars. The only thing that I did want to put back in here but I need to figure out a different kind of storage solution is when I do the washing throughout the week I usually just put it in the wash basket and then I'll do the ironing most weeks on a Sunday but I need something just a bit smaller maybe taller for here and that possibly is not plastic. I'm thinking about a fabric laundry basket. I do have my main washing baskets upstairs for all the dirty washing, but I just like to keep something down here because I have the iron and mostly I do the ironing in the lounge. Down the bottom, I just managed to fit my mop here and then the bottom part of the Dyson. And that is it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this final video in my storage and organisation series. If you have missed any of the others, I will link the whole playlist down below of the five videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I'd love to have you as part of the PVB community. And give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful. I will now see you on Monday for the start of my self-care series for that week. So there'll be five videos next week. Have a great start to your weekend and I will see you then. Take care guys. Bye.